Episode 151 He came to pick her up. Jane seemed to trust Summer more. She believed that she was a woman who had a child and had gotten married. Peter would definitely not like her anymore. Jane figured that Peter hadn't probably even posted Summer's picture. Perhaps his account had been stolen. Sometimes people were like that. You couldn't trust them. The gathering ended with them toasting each other. When Summer went to the bathroom with one of her colleagues, the rest of them got their jackets and went out to take a taxi. Summer hid in the bathroom to send a message to Peter. We're finished. Where have you been? Underground parking. I'm going to the door now. Peter replied very quickly. Summer couldn't help but smile. She had become a bad person. All right, see you at the gate. At this moment, Jane and some of her colleagues had already called a taxi at the entrance. They all had been drinking, so they couldn't drive. When they were chatting happily, a sports car stopped in front of the entrance. A few women immediately screamed. It was a limited edition Lycan Hyper sports car. There were only three of them in the entire world. Now, there was actually one right in front of them. How could they not be excited? Then, a man in a suit got out of the car. The women couldn't help but exclaim, So handsome! However, this man was too cold. He didn't even glance at them. Very quickly, someone looked toward Jane. Designer Lockhart, isn't this your boyfriend? Jane and Peter used to be very close. When Jane was spending time with Peter, his wife had already left. Later on, some people guessed that they had already started dating, and Jane didn't deny it. Wow, Designer Lockhart, your boyfriend came to pick you up? I'm so happy for... Jane raised her chin proudly as she heard them praising her. She turned back to look at the restaurant and realized that Summer was still inside. She wanted to leave with Peter as soon as possible, not letting the two of them meet. Thinking like this, Jane walked toward Peter. With a straight body and outstanding confidence, she smiled gently and walked to Peter's side. She tilted her head and asked, Peter, are you here to pick me up? At this moment, she was completely mesmerized. She did not expect Peter to come and pick her up, since she never told him where she was. Peter glanced at the people standing at the door, but he didn't see Summer. So, he prepared himself to wait patiently. I'm picking up Summer. This sentence froze the smile on Jane's face. He had actually come to pick up Summer. He had actually already seen Summer before. But if she left now, what would her employees think of her? They thought that he was there to pick her up, but he wasn't. How could such a shameful thing happen to her? Jane was not willing to accept that. Peter, I have something to tell you in private. It's about Summer, she... About her? We, the husband and wife, communicate with each other, so there's no need for you to trouble yourself. Peter frowned slightly. He only allowed Jane to approach him because they had been in contact by email for a long time. However, that didn't mean he would be as impulsive as he was five years ago. After five years of thinking about it, he clearly knew who he loved. Jane wanted to ask Peter to take her away, but she didn't expect that he wouldn't even let her talk. She was feeling somewhat aggrieved, and she didn't know what to do next. Summer was hiding in the crowd by the door. Jane had her back facing the crowd, and Summer couldn't see her expression. She only saw Peter's cold face and wondered what Jane had said to him. Peter was deep in his thoughts, but he had already noticed where Summer was. He passed Jane and headed straight towards the crowd. 
others couldn't help but make way for him. Peter's tall body stopped in front of Summer. He smelled the faint smell of alcohol coming from her, and couldn't help but frown. You drank too much? Summer wanted to laugh. What right did he have to question her like that? Do you have any objections? Summer's voice was full of provocation. She looked at Peter. Peter rubbed his forehead helplessly. This little wild cat always made him feel so helpless. No, I'm here to take you home. Seeing that she was still wearing her thin dress in the late fall night, Peter shook his head. He took off his suit jacket and wrapped it around her body, then carried her in his arms. He could not bear to let her walk drunk. Under the envious and confused faces of the crowd, Peter carried Summer and walked towards the sports car, as if there was no one around. He carefully placed her on the passenger seat and kissed her on the forehead. Summer sat silently in the passenger seat like a startled deer. Her eyes were open wide, and she looked at Jane, who was standing outside the window with a gloomy face. People act when they're enraged. Summer did not know whether all this was provoking Jane or not. However, she felt satisfied. Jane could not get rid of her even if she wanted to. As expected, being a bad person was much easier than being a good person. Summer smiled and waved at Jane. Designer Lockhart, I'll be leaving first. You don't need to help me. Before she finished speaking, Peter had already started the car, and her voice disappeared in the wind. Jane's teeth chattered, and she felt like Summer was asking for an insult. How could she do this to her? What she could not tolerate was Peter's attitude towards her. She didn't understand. Although Peter wasn't as nice to her as he was in the beginning, he shouldn't have been so cold. He had completely ignored her, and all of this had started because Summer had come back. Peter was trying to distance himself from her. Jane was shocked by her own thoughts. If Peter wouldn't treat her like before, she would lose everything. She could not stand by and watch this happen before her eyes. She had to do something to stop it. <laughs>